Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome to this feeling sentimental tag. This is a three cent memory video tag. So if you're not a big fan of tag videos, that's what this video is going to be about. But I hope you stick around. I was actually tagged by Jennifer Latifa over on her channel and I will link her channel down in the description box and we'll also link Six Cents Official down in the description box as well as he is the one who started this video tag. So if you like tag videos and you want to see my three cent memories, then stick around. <music> Alright guys, if you have been watching my channel for any length of time, you probably already know what one of my scent memories is going to be. And it happens to be the Shalimar EDP. I've talked about this one in several videos, so it probably is not a shock to some of you. Um, again, if you don't know, my mom used to wear this fragrance when I was very little. I remember when I smell this, I remember her smelling like this back when I was as long as I can remember. I mean, probably eight years old. Six or eight is like my first memory of this. So, um, I see a lot of people with Shalimar in this video, this scent memory um, type of tag video. And it's probably because it's been around so long. This fragrance has been around since like the 1920s and it's bound to show up somewhere right so but this fragrance here it just it just evokes you know warm fuzzy good feelings for me it didn't for a while because um, if you did not know my mom passed away in 2017 and it was tough you know it was a really really tough time in my life it was the first time I had ever lost a parent my dad is still alive. Um, he's still alive and well. He is 81 years young and um, still very active. So I'm very thankful that he is still um, with me. But it was a very tough time for a while. And there were probably two to th about two to three months that I could not even pick this up. I couldn't even look at it. And then there was about a year that I could not even smell it. So... I am to the point now, though, where I can actually smell this again. I can actually wear this one um, again in the fall and winter. It has to be very cold outside. Otherwise, it kind of gives me a headache um, because it is super duper strong. If you know anything about Shalimar, you know it's like the OG of beast mode fragrances. So, But yeah, this fragrance holds very, very dear memories with me and... Um, yeah, so there are days when now that I can just walk by this and pick it up and just give it a sniff and it's very comforting. Um, it does not provoke any sad feelings anymore. But that's another thing I wanted to touch on, guys. If you just be careful, I've seen so many people make the mistake of going to a funeral or to a wake and they wear a fragrance and they don't realize that they will forever connect that fragrance to that sad occasion. So I just try to be super duper careful and not wear fragrance to a, a sad or, a, or an event that's going to link me back to that fragrance and give me a bad vibe or a bad memory. Sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes, you know, things happen and you're already there in the moment. But if I know I'm going to something that is going to be a trigger, a, a sad event, or like I said, something that is going to be profound enough for me to connect it to a fragrance, then I tend to not wear any fragrance at all because I never know when that fragrance is going to be linked back to that person, that event. So just be careful with that. The next one I have is a actually a men's cologne. And this is a little bit of a lighter story. And so the second one is called Dracar Noir. And it's been around for ages. And this fragrance, you guys, 
it brings back so many memories. Um, this one actually reminds me of a time in my life when I was around, well, I was 17 years old. This was back in the late 80s, early 90s. And this fragrance reminds me of dating a guy that I had a lot of fun with. Um, we went to prom together. This cologne just reminds me of him, which reminds me of things we did, places we went. It reminds me of also a time of my life where it was like a transition period. Um, I graduated from high school when I was 17. I basically had a decent paying job at that point, which it was a fun job. I bought my first practically brand new, uh, brand new vehicle at that point. Just a lot of things were going on at 17. It was just a very fun summer. The summer of my 17th um, year was fun. And that cologne evokes so many crazy memories. Like I was in a store not too long ago, like a Walmart. And this guy walks past me. And I get a whiff of this cologne. And immediately, immediately I start thinking of that time in my life and the fun things that I used to do and the summer when I was 17 and dating this guy and having all this crazy fun. And it just, it just took me back. I mean, it just stopped me dead in my tracks right there. And I was like, wow. And I had already been tagged in this video and already had like three other fragrances or two other fragrances planned. I knew I would do Shalimar, but I had two other fragrances planned, and when that guy walked past me, I was just like, okay, I totally had forgotten about this fragrance, and this is going to have to go in the sentimental tag. So, it's not necessarily sentimental as far as a sad feeling or anything like that, but it definitely provoked a scent memory, and it's it was a good memory. It's a It was a very fun time of my life, and... Sometimes I jokingly say that 17 has been the funnest year of my life. And sometimes I don't know that I'm actually joking. So <laughs> I've definitely had some fun times since then. But I don't know. There was just something about that 17th year was a blast. And the third fragrance that provokes a lot of memories with me is Perry Ellis 360 Degrees. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen. I don't own it either. I know it's been reformulated and... It is definitely different than it was when I owned it back in the early 90s, but this fragrance still smells so similar that it can provoke a scent memory when I smell it. This fragrance just basically reminds me of a time where I was in my early 20s. I was still very independent. I haven't married yet. I had a job working at a department store and in a bigger city and was loving it, having a blast, not taking life too seriously. Um, but this fragrance reminds me of a time of my life where a lot of transitions were about to take place. And some of them were good, some of them were not so good, but it just reminds me of a place of growth, if that makes sense. Not every scent that you smell that you have a memory with, or to me, is linked to anything particularly good, happy, or sad. Sometimes they just represent a phase in your life or... A, a time of growth. So yeah, the Perry Ellis 360 just reminds me of a time in my life where things were changing. I was changing. My life was about to change. And it just reminds me, it's almost like a line of demarcation where I can smell this fragrance and I can remember a time where Almost at that exact same time when I purchased this fragrance, my life was good and it was about to change and it was changing, but it was, it was still good while it was changing. So it, it's, 
one of those fragrances where nothing bad had happened at that point yet. Um, but yeah, it just reminds me of a place of growth and change and independence. So I had a really hard time with this uh, sentimental tag video. It really, really made me think about a lot of different things. I mean, I really could bring up obsession. I have scent memories tied to it. I could bring up Aqualina Pink Sugar. Um, there's a Paris Hilton fragrance that I have a scent memory tied to. There was one by Jovan. It was called uh, Night Blooming Jasmine. I have a scent memory tied to it. I have a scent memory tied to Taboo, a fragrance called Taboo. I have so many scent, memory, scent memories, but I think these three stood out in my mind the most, especially after I passed the guy in the supermarket and I was like, whoa, I have to add that one to my video. So anyway, guys, that is my three scent memories. Hope you enjoyed it. And I don't know who I'll tag yet because I can't remember who all has done this video at this point. But when I edit this video, if I come up with any names, I will put the names down in the description box. And I will also tag them on Instagram so that they will know they have been tagged. Otherwise, if you have not been tagged for this video yet and you want to do it, please go ahead and do it. Feel free to do it here. Feel free to do it on Instagram. It is totally up to you. Have fun with it. Um, go back in time a little bit and see what you can remember. And hopefully they are good memories. And hopefully you have uh, grown from your experiences. So... Anyway, I have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Activate the notification bell. And until next time, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.